Hello and welcome back to another B&M tech video. Now, I was out and about in my local B&M the other day and I came across this. Now, it is 240 games in one for £15, made by Vibes, and it is manufactured for B&M retail. So these are sort of classed in B&M this time of year as stock and fillers because we're still in September and they have already got their Christmas stuff up so we haven't even got to Halloween yet and they've got bloody aisles and aisles worth of uh, Christmas stuff out. And as I say, these along with other things as well, like the little Pac-Man arcade machines, the LCD ones, which they're not me to be honest with you. Uh, they're, like, they're just stock and fillers to be honest with you. So. I thought I'll pick one up for £15. So what do we have? Well, we have 240 games in one. It is a retro pocket gamer. And you've got six different game categories. So you've got 45 action games, 17 racing games, 80 puzzle games, 13 fighting games, 18 sport games, and 67 shooting games. Let me just add that up and see if it's correct. 240. So we have uh, 240 pre-installed games, like I've said. We a classic 8-bit, high-resolution 2.8 screen, and classic tunes. I'll just show you that there so you can pause it and have a little look. Now, it runs off four AAA batteries, which I do have behind me. Um, let me see anything else to say before we crack on. Uh, in the box, we just have the pocket console and the manual. There's nothing else to say. Looks very, very Game boy -y. Now, these came in black as well, and I just decided to go for the classic Game Boy look, although it's not going to be anything but a Game Boy. So, what we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to put this microphone on myself, and uh, we're going to open it and see what we get for our £15. Righty-ho, so let's get this little pocket... Retro Gamer open, just cut the top there, like that. We'll help if I get the flipping blade extended with me, oops. Oh. Righty ho, I'm not going to do a table sort of unboxing. There's the console. Feels... Very cheap, should we say. Yeah, there's not much in that, I don't think. Interesting. Here we have the manual as well. The owner's manual. I do own one of these, so I have an owner's manual. Right, so we're not going to bother to read it because, in all honesty, if you need to read that, to work that you shouldn't even be buying one uh, I'm just gonna have a quick run through anyway what it does say just it's just safety instructions and stuff like that description of parts how to use uh, oh yeah we we ah, hang on just before we do crack on right that's interesting if you can just see that technical specification so the system is a flash 128 megabyte CPU FE03 Four batteries, as I said, AAA. Software uh, games, 240 pre-installed 8-bit games. Uh, the console is a TFT screen, high resolution, uh, 4.5 centimeters. Uh, and the weight apparently is 92 grams. So it looks like we need a little screwdriver. So I'll just cut, find the screwdriver, and then we'll come back. Right, so in go with the aerosol. Now these are from Lidl. I don't really buy batteries like Duracell and they're expensive ones. I just get these because they're just as good. Neither these or the ones from Aldi, which are just as good. So on the back, as I say, we've got a little screw there, which is a child safe thing, which is not a bad thing. So it just stops the little kiddie opening the back, taking the batteries out and uh, choking to death. I'm not gonna lie. Right, I'm assuming this peels off go we're gonna have this protective screen there or whatever you call it screen protector should we say a little look around it before we start we've got a directional pad we've got a little tiny speaker in the corner reset start and a and b 
Now on the top, normally the Game Boy is a, a, has an on and off switch, it hasn't. It's got it on the side, so we've got an on and off switch by the looks of it and a volume control as well. And a little sort of notch for a lanyard as well, if you want to carry it about. So anyway, here goes. Okay, so, hmm. Um, well, let me see. Fighting games. Hmm. I'm gone. Maybe this will be better if I go on the desk. Right, so onto the mouse mat we go. Uh, where's it on and off switch? Right, so we have action games, fighting games, sports games, shoot games, racing games, puzzle games. And we're not a touch screen here, so we're going to go down. Oh no, that's just a little pattern on the bottom. So let's start with, um, let's see, action games. Curly Monkeys 2, Curly Monkey, or Curly Monkey 2, Curly Monkey, Enchanter uh, Amusement Park 2. Hmm, never heard of these before. I'll do so right. Spring. Oh, shit, what have I done? Oh, sorry, that comes out of that. Ah, there we go. Um, I'll start with Curly Monkey 2. There we go. You know what, graphically, it's actually not that bad. Let's go back, let's try Amusement Park 2. I don't even know what I'm singing, it just sounds nice. Right, there we go, stage one. We jump through these, do we? Hmm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Um, Shark, primitive man, and primitive woman. Talk about equality. Eh, Blobbuster, what the frig are now? Um, let's try Blobbuster. I haven't got a frigging clue I'm supposed to be doing on these games. Tell you what. Let's get rid of these and let's go for some fighting games. So we've got Superhero, The Hacker, Jumping Kid, Masked Man, Masked Man 2 and 3, Warrior and Dark Castle, Devil Don Doom. Spark the Archer, Tactful and Spring World. None of these I have heard of before. So let's go for the first one, which is Superhero. Freaking hell, then this is a fighting game. It looks a little bit like Robocod when you got in that bloody car. Well, if that's a fighting game, <sighs> there you go now. Let's get off that one. That's crap. Ew. Let's go for masked money. Eh? Mm. 
very sinister. Oh, very sinister. Checking out the size of that. Looks like we have a bit of a Spider-Man rip-off here, folks. No, that's not a fighting game, that. What's Devil Don Doom? Devil Don Doom? Wowza. Where are we here? Oh, there he is. Is it like Bomberman? Whoops. Uh, I'm going to clear about that one. Tell you what, let's go for the good, simple racing games. Extreme Rally, Frontline Gallop, Highway Rider, Racing Fighter, Speed Challenge, Pong, Pong, is that Pong or Pong? Deformable, Boat Race, Good Hand, Gradders, Lightning, Panzer Fly Car, Police vs Thief, Violent Hot Speed, and Motto Boat, who the f can I come up with these? So let's have police versus thief. Violent chasing police versus thief. Wowza. Stage one. Where are we? Huh? Hey? What's happened there? Oh, I see. You've got a. It's like a bit of a Pac Man game. Yeah, well, that was crap. Panzer fly car. Okay, Panzer fly car. The vibes. Oh, shit. Hmm. No, don't know what that's doing. Um, let's have violent. Bit of violence. Wowza. Right. My word, this is violent. Well, I'm afraid, uh, let's see if this is like Micro Machines. Motto Boat. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Not my cup of tea, that one. What's, uh, it looks like they're all the friggin' same style of game. Gradials, what the hell is this? Same style of game, just friggin' different graphics. Uh, let's go for... Um, shooting games. Okay. Polax, Sky, yeah, Skywing, looks quite good. Oof. Do you know what? That's quite good, that. That is actually quite good. Graphically, it's quite good. A bit like 1942. Mm, I like that. I quite like that one. I quite like it. Oh, impressive that one. Oh yeah, F22. Oh, um, here we go. 005 Agiman, if you're watching. Hey, look at this. 
F22 interceptor. Oh, quite like that. Oh, yeah. I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. I don't even press this key. I am quite impressed. This D pan's a bit fiddly, like. Nice. Um, I think these are gold. Yeah, they're going to be the same, these. Fateful battle. That's a bit weird. Oh, I see. Mm, no, that's rubbish. Pray. I pray this is good. I really do. Oh, Jazzy. 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 Well, that's basic, isn't it? that one off aim cruise air alert i'm not going to play all these games because i'll be in all friggin day um ghost castle what's final blood a bit like rambo 2 oh hello what's this what's this thing in here oh Oh yeah, here we go. Have that. Well, it's not bad that one. Right. Um, what else we got? Right. Um, Smackdown. Oh, that looks very wrestling-like. Smackdown. Player ready. Oh, oh. Is that a tiny bit of speech? It's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. Let's get this light over here a bit more. Um, is that classed as, that was classed as a shooting game, that? So we've got action, racing and puzzle games. Uh, I'm just going to flick through these very quickly because I'm not really a fan of puzzle games. Chinese Checkers, Fruit Boxes, Jig Chick. Who comes up with these names, man? That looks a bit like Cuba, that. Um, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, it's a, oh yeah, it's a Q-Bait ripoff. Nice. Oh, shit. That one I quite like, because I quite like Q-Bait. Let's get off that one. Puppet show. Long page. Wow. Okay, I am paging my lawn. Uh, what do I need to do? I've got a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. 
how I see cut the grass or the hedges. Right, so as I'm doing that, the fuel here seems to be going down. But when I cut something, the fuel... Bollocks of that one, I can't even be asked explaining that one. Candy Workshop, Checkers, Contest, Cookies Labyrinth, Crystal Ball, Fated Pirate, Fairies Treasure, Golden Bird, Creeds, High Card, Happy Match, uh, Hoodie Buddy, Grot Kid, Pizza Boy, Police Dog, that, that is supposed to be lazy, it's Lassie, late, I don't know, Power Boat, Road Shift, Road Worker, Shift, Sudoku, which I don't think, is that a copyrighted name? I don't know. And after all, you are my wonder ball. Wow, is that? Slight bit of uh, interference there at the speaker. And after all, you're my wonder ball. Anti Aquarium, Apple Chess, Aquarium Diamond Dice, Dominoes, Ed City Snakes, fucking now, Frantic Mouse, Free Cell, Gay Gobbler Tower, Hit Mouse. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, let's have a look at this then. Oh, I see. So you just. So basically you just press the D-pad when you get a little creature come out of these holes. Oh, so we got a memory test, transmission, twin cards, bonking, fruit, animal blocks, animal contest, Meccano, Polk, C dot made. Kirby. Cute fish, fruit dish, hexapod war, wowza, movie box, let's have a look at that, um, what do we do here, that looks like, nope, Rural Goblin, Seasoned Garden, Shrew Mouse, Silence Hunter, Snowball. These aren't puzzle games, these surely. No, ain't got a clue. What the frickin' hell is Rural Goblin? Wowza. Nope, ain't got a clue to play that either. Um, have we missed something else here? Fighting games. Uh, there's got to be a decent fighting game on this just to... Yeah, what's Spa? Game A versus computer. Fuck yeah, now. Wowza. Right, so we have a fight under a tree while someone's throwing stuff at you. One move, that's all you get. Ugh. So I've won one and the computer has won three. There we go. There we go. Stamina. So where's your punch? Well, the more you punch, the more your stamina goes down. There you go, take that, take that. Oh yeah, you can do a little. No. Is that it? What was on the action games again? Just before I wrap this video up. Um, give me a, something to do with Mario. Something decent anyway. 
at least. Come on. One more before we wrap this video up. Turtles. Yeah, what's this? Okay. Okay, so up the ladder you go, and it seems like you've got to. Pick up this green shit, and then maybe make a hole for these to fall in, and then go and get more stuff. Oh, shit. Right, okay, so that wraps this one up, I think. I don't know, I'm not going to put you through any more of these. Uh, well, you know, honestly, they're not bad. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn this off and I'll give me thought to the end of this video. Right, okay, so that was the look at the Retro Pocket Gamer by, I think that vibes. I say it was manufactured for B&M in the UK. Now, my thoughts on it are for £15. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's quite good. It's, it's, it's not my sort of thing to, to, to you know, to, to keep and sort of play. But, you know, as a stock and fill it, and if anyone out there who sort of can't afford like you know mega expensive toys for the kids at christmas and stuff like that that would actually keep your kids busy for a while packed with 240 games mainly some of them are just like they're just pointless uh, some crazy names as you can see um now if you say i don't know if you maybe if you're a security guard and you're uh, you got long sort of shifts or something like that and you're sort of just sitting down uh, I'm waiting for something to happen that is ideal and if you're just sort of like you know out and about and you just want a quick blast on something or if you're on a train journey or something like that now I know we've got games on our phones and that but you know just something like that and it does actually fit in your pocket it's not a lie it does fit in your pocket and this as well that is not a lie as well that is what the graphics are like it is, it is quite colorful really really um I mean, it, it feels a lot, a little bit more robust now with the batteries in, but with the batteries out, um, it doesn't really feel like anything. Tiny speaker, I don't know how, how loud that is, but it's, it's, it's adequate, should we say. It's not too loud and it's not too sort of like, you know, low. So let's just turn it on and just uh, put it to the mic. So that's at its lowest set and that's off. And you know what? I mean, there's loads of other ones out there. Like, there's loads of ones on TikTok getting sold for like 80, 90 pounds. Now, the difference with them is they're a lot more powerful than them, and they've got like sort of modernish games and stuff like that. But yeah, as I said, for 15 pounds, yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the best of thing, but you know, it is what it is. Right. So, what's coming up on this channel? Um, right. Well. I've downloaded a game called Starfield, and I must admit, I am blown, blown away by it. I've recently bought the 4060 RTX laptop, as you know, and I've downloaded Starfield, and it's it, it just wipes the floor with it. The game is, oh, it is phenomenal. I cannot stop playing it. So all stuff I had planned, I had Amiga stuff planned, I had some Commodore 64 stuff planned, and I'm looking at it here on the shelf, sort of ready to go. Um, say lots of Amiga stuff, loads of PC stuff, and unfortunately this game has just taken hold for the moment. I'm just putting up random gameplay clips like exploring the moon, Earth and stuff like that. The game is absolutely phenomenal. It's just space exploration and it was the kind of game that I was looking for. So in between sort of having breaks from the game, 
I'm sort of starting to do these little videos now. So, as I say, there is quite a lot of stuff planned. Like, I've just been given... Uh, where is it as well? It's under here. So, I've just been given this as well. Well, when I say just a few weeks ago. Xbox 360. Uh, 128 gigabytes. <sighs> Now it comes with a controller and it also comes with a power brick and it is pretty much ready to go. Now I've got quite a lot of games from back in the day. So I've got like Battlefield 3, the FIFAs and stuff like that. So I've got that to sort of, not unbox, just to sort of show off, clean up and possibly mod it and stuff like that. Uh, other stuff planned, as I say, uh, I'm still playing Battlefield as well, Battlefield 2042. But I am still sort of pretty much in touch with this, uh, the, 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 the retroness of the channel, should we say, but it's not always about that now. It's 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 whatever I think is maybe interesting to other people, like this little re retro pocket console. Um, right, so I think that's it. I'm not going to start waffling on. Uh, no, let me just see. Spectrum stuff as well. Yeah, ZX Spectrum stuff. I've got, I've got a few things to do on that. Ooh, what else have I got up there? Yeah, some graphics cards. I've got one, two, I've got three PCs down here, which I do need to take a look at. But at the minute, this shelf with all the stuff on, it's getting throughout and new shelving's going in. The stuff I don't need and don't want is going to get sold. And all my PCs are going to be lined up underneath this desk here. And then I'm going to have a little unit here, something like that. So it's a little bit of a change at the moment. Um, yeah, and that's it really. So on that note, cheers for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri.